turn your basic vanilla cake into a warm hug of a cute panda. With Nyam Nyam, make a bamboo panda cake simply by decorating it with icing. So starting with your basic vanilla cake, we just slice the top off there and cut it in half. Removing the crumbs. Adding some buttercream in between the layers and smoothing it over. No food colouring necessary for this one, just white buttercream will be fine. Layering the cake as much as you like. We're doing three layers. So we're covering the entire outside of the cake with the buttercream icing. Smoothing it over, ready to place our chocolate wafers all around the edge with a few cut down to various sizes. Now, get your fondant icing ready on a chopping board and mould it into a panda shape. Be creative with your pandas. Some can be sitting, some lying on their tummy, some standing, or even lying on their back. Some fondant rocks and some fondant leaves. And there you have it. Super simple. Super cool! Bamboo Panda Cake Delicious! Nyam Nyam introduces you to their Bubble Wrap Honey Bee Cake So fun and easy to make First you're going to get your vanilla cake Slice off the top and cut it in half we're going to put some buttercream icing on there and layer and and a drizzle of honey layering it like so some more buttercream you might need a couple of cakes for this one another drizzle of honey so we can just keep piling on the drizzly gorgeousness smoothing it out with a spatula covering the outside of the cake with buttercream icing now, time for our melted white chocolate. We're going to add some yellow food colouring. Stir that in. Lovely. We're going to pour that onto, yes, that's right, some bubble wrap. Spreading it out with a spatula. This bit could get a bit messy, but it is fun. We're going to wrap that around our cake and snip off the excess. Now, once it's set, we can take the bubble wrap off. And you have a beautiful honeycomb pattern. Break off a few bits make it look a little bit more authentic. <laughs> now, time for our fondant icing decoration. We're gonna make a bee, or maybe lots of bees, using yellow, rolling that into an oval shape, and white, and a little bit of black. Using a rolling pin to flatten out our white fondant icing. Then we're going to use a cutter to cut out a small circle from that, which we will then cut in half. Joining the two ends of those together, We've done that twice and we've got our wings. Now, time for our stripes. So roll our black fondant icing into a very thin sausage shape and cut that in half. Using a bit of water, we're gonna wrap those around the body and stick them on one by one. Stick on the wings too. Don't forget some eyes. Ah, cute. So we can make several of those using wires to stick them into our cake and a few flower heads there. Of course, a few around the edge and there you have it, a wonderful bubble wrap honey bee cake, beautiful. This will get you buzzing in the kitchen, absolutely beatastic. Ooh, one of my favourite candy surprise cake. I love this cake because it's got candies in it, woohoo! We're going to start with some buttercream icing in food piping bags. Use loads of different colours, loads of food colouring. Just have a party with buttercream icing. We're going to layer a vanilla cake with the buttercream icing, but the clever thing is our layers in the middle are going to have a hole cut out. So we've got a lovely hole to pour in our candies. We're using the buttercream as a kind of glue. Put the final layer on top, which doesn't have a hole cut out by the way, and coat the entire outside in buttercream. It's a buttercream dream. Smooth it over. Let's have fun now and decorate. Different serrated edge nozzles, flat ones, thin ones. And we can have a party. 
decorate as you wish. Maybe you could do a theme. We're just doing lots of different shapes and flower-like patterns and seashell-like patterns and swirls. But what would you like to do? Maybe some zigzags, maybe polka dots. Maybe if it's for your love, you could do a heart-themed cake. Use your imagination. And whenever you've done your preferred design, dig in and the candies will fall out. Then it all goes in your tummy. Get ready to bake a perfect birthday party cake, pink and purple with a rainbow unicorn. All you need is some Italian buttercream, split equally into two mixing bowls. Add some food colouring in there. We're going with red food colouring to make a pink buttercream icing and purple food colouring. Put those aside and we get our vanilla cake. We've pre-made this earlier. You can slice the top off and then slice it in half, putting the purple buttercream icing on first. Once that's nice and smooth, we're going to add the next layer and our pink buttercream icing, of course. And then white, so we've got some buttercream which we have not coloured. That goes on the next layer and on the top of our cake. We're going to just smooth around the outside so we can start to layer our beautiful colours. So we're starting with purple and then pink, doing three rows of each colour and then of course white. So we've got this kind of Neapolitan effect around the edge of our cake, smoothing those over and using a plastic sheet to perfect any imperfections and along the top as well. Then it's ready to decorate. Right, with a serrated edge knife, we're going to make a line pattern around the edge of our cake. And then we're going to just square on some pink and purple alternating buttercream using a serrated edge nozzle through a piping bag. That goes around the bottom edge of our cake. Beautiful. Now, time to rainbow sprinkle on the top and a little along the bottom edge too. Ready for fondant icing to decorate. So we're going to just mould our shapes here because we want to make a unicorn. So here's the legs and the body. Add a head on that and some arms and of course ears, hair and a face. It's a sleeping unicorn so let's have the eyes shut. Now, using multi-coloured rainbow fondant icing, we're going to roll them into sausage shapes and make a rainbow. And some clouds. Placing our unicorn on the edge of the cake, we're going to put the rainbow on top and take a slice out of a cake with a spoon, putting a little bit on the unicorn's mouth, ah, and on his hand. Makes the unicorn look like he's fallen asleep whilst eating some cake, ah, so cute. There you have it, super simple. And so We all love a red velvet cake, but ain't it special when it's dressed up with cream cheese, baby meringues and summer berries. So let's get started. Add 100 grams of egg white to a mixing bowl and whisk until light and frothy. A quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar goes in there and 200 grams of sugar. Whisk it up till it's nice and thick. Now in a food piping bag, we're going to just paint on some stripes of red food coloring and spoon in our meringue mixture. Once that comes out of our serrated nozzle, we've got these beautiful, slightly red tinted baby meringues. Those bake in the oven for one hour at 90 degrees. Now in a mixing bowl, we add 100 grams of butter with 200 grams of cream cheese and whisk together with 50 grams of sugar. Once that's nice and smooth, pale colour, again we're going to paint stripes with red food colouring on the inside of a food piping bag and spoon it in. This time, using a straight edge nozzle, we're going to get our red velvet cake, which we made earlier or pre-bought from the store, and squeeze on our cream cheese mixture like so. We're going to continue this on each layer of our red velvet cake. And once we get to the top layer, we can start to add our fruit, raspberries, mulberries and of course our baby meringues a few sprigs of rosemary in there for some color and there you have it beautiful nude red velvet cake an absolute crowd pleaser very fresh to look at super easy to make super delicious yum absolutely love this cake it's just bursting with color and absolutely delicious all you need is a basic chocolate cake you can buy it ready made from the supermarket or even pre-bake it yourself we're going to fill it with buttercream chocolate flavored icing 
Then we're going to layer it a few times and cover the entire cake with our buttercream icing. We can use a nice piece of plastic to smooth it down along the sides and on the top. Now we're going to melt some dark chocolate buttons and we're going to pour that onto, yes, you saw right, it's bubble wrap. A fantastic and creative way of making a really cool pattern that has been cut to size to fit around the outside of our cake. So once that's set, we wrap it all the way around and then it's time to carefully peel away the bubble wrap and we're left with a beautiful bubbly pattern on our chocolate. Some juicy strawberries, a sprinkling of blueberries and some cherries, maybe even a few raspberries as well. We're going to fill the top of our cake with beautiful colours and some mint leaves for a touch of green. Look at that! Absolutely delicious! And it's a work of art! And it really was that easy. Cake, buttercream, bubble wrap and berries. Super simple. Choco Berylicious. Check out this really cool citrusy stamp cake. That's right, we are going to be using real fruit to make stamps with food coloring. How cool is that? Just get your basic vanilla cake or whichever cake you prefer, layer it with some buttercream icing, coat the outside in it too and smooth it over. Now we can have fun with some fondant. Get some icing sugar and sprinkle it on a chopping board and roll out your white fondant icing. Nice and thin, big enough to wrap around the entire outside of the cake. You can use some scissors to just snip off the excess. Push it down to perfect it. Then slice around with a cutter. That was easy, wasn't it? Time to decorate and get a lemon or an orange, whatever you prefer. Chop off one end and paint on some food colouring. We're using orange food colouring. You can use a little paintbrush to put that on. Or just dip it. And start stamping all around the sides. If you want, you can get even more colourful and use rainbow colours. We're sticking with orange for now. Then you can have more fun with fondant by making a fondant lemon and some leaves and stick those on the top for a finishing touch. Or use candies. What do you prefer? And there you have it. Very simple to do. And I tell you what, if you get the kids involved, they are going to have a ball doing this. Yum. <laughs>